I've never been in an MRI machine. I've never had me brain wired up. I put my fingers in a, a, a wall socket once. Does that count? I've always believed that music is a drug that we use to alter or enhance our mood. That's how I've always used music. The main reason why people listen to music and why they enjoy music is because music can elicit strong emotional reactions. We're really interested in brain regions and how they respond to sound. I'm interested in how music affects people, and what it is that people feel when they hear a song. As a songwriter, I can't fail to be curious about that. I know what music can do here. I'll be really interested to find out what music can do up here. What we are looking at is a contrast between a song that he really enjoys and that has a deep emotional meaning as compared to a song that he didn't like. The intro makes me think to myself, oh, here I am again, sat in a bloody plane. I've been warped by the rain, driven by the snow, drunk and dirty, don't you know, and I'm still willing. I've chosen this song, Willing, because it's one I use to alter my mood in a very specific situation. I'm what you might refer to as an apprehensive flyer. I do fly, I fly quite a lot, but... The apprehension is about not knowing what the plane's going to do next or why it's doing what it's doing. It's basically a, a, a problem of fertile imagination. The thing that allows me to write songs is also a thing that allows me to imagine terrible things happening to the plane. One day I was on a flight of Bolivia. It took off and you know it was going higher and higher and the mountains were there so it's pretty up and down. And I was you know thinking to myself why why am I doing this? Why have I put myself in this situation? I know I don't like this. And randomly on the cassette, because it was back in those days, randomly on the cassette, Willing by Little Feet came on. When we directly compare brain responses to the song Billy Selected to the, the other song, interestingly, the main differences that we see, they are in regions that are more directly linked with emotion uh, processing. And in the amygdala in particular, uh, the result is quite interesting because what we are seeing is actually a deactivation when Billy is listening to the song that he selected. As it chimed in, the plane banked sideways, the clouds opened, and there was Lake Titicaca there, all beautiful and blue in the morning. And I just listened to the words and I thought, it's because I'm willing. I'm willing to do this. I've dreamt my whole life to do this job. And now I'm doing it. And I'm here on this aeroplane now because I'm willing. We know from imaging studies that unpleasant uh, music might activate the amygdala more than pleasant music. So it could actually be that this deactivation that we are seeing for his selected song, it might reflect a relaxing or calming effect of that song. He's really right on the money with his explanation, right? Because the, the findings we do see between like and dislike seem to marry up perfectly with what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Almost surprisingly <laughs> so, I think. The thing about how I use it on a plane is very often the plane is roaring and pitching and things are shaking all around me. But this is just so calm. So, so much space in it. It's almost just, you know, floating. And I kind of float with it, you know. <laughs> 